I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? Oh, Jesus. She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable <laughs> asset to the company. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more of Mass Effect. This is Hill, and we are here in the cargo deck of the Normandy SR-1. And we're down here to continue our conversations with the crew before we embark on the story mission. I've chatted up a couple of members of the crew and they really had nothing to say, but I think we have some dialogue that's new from Garrus. Commander, I... what can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Mm. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, sir. Okay, we've got 129 experience from that. Let's just briefly talk to Rex. I'm not sure if he has anything. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract. But I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softie. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station. Used my entire store of ammunition. 
had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. <laughs> so I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. All right, I think we have exhausted the conversation with Rex. So long, Rex. Sure. And we got 129 experience. All right, this should be the last person. I don't think we have anything else to say to Ashley. I think we have shut down this line of uh, conversation. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismiss, Chief. Okay, so, Sir. there is no further conversating with Ashley. It's time to get out of here. Oh, well, let's go. Let me see, is there anything more that Tally might have to say after we've given her the Geth data? It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. If we don't stop him soon, it'll be too late. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. Saren's still got a couple more surprises waiting for us. Yeah, I get that feeling too. But I know you can handle whatever he throws at us. And I'll be right here if you need my help. Okay, and that exhausts the conversation with Tally. I should go. See you later. And no experience, okay? I'll remember that, Tally. Alright, let's get up to the bridge, or CIC, which I believe stands for Command Information Center. And it's time to choose a path to further along the main story. You see the dialogue here helped us in setting up the continuation of the story. Everybody's anxious to get to Saren. And I think it's time that we look for him. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Uh -oh. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong Cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. All right, well, congratulations to Shepard. They certainly had a huge foothold in the Armstrong Cluster. I think every system had Geth on one of the planets. All right. 
it's time to leave the Grissom whatever area <laughs> uh, and we're leaving the Armstrong cluster and we're headed to Novaria and the PAX system all right Joker hit it Approaching the planet Savarog. Right, there's nothing there. Planet Morana. Nothing there. The planet Velis. Ah, and we can survey it. And it's Dillanaga again. All right, so yeah, yeah, Delanaga's writings discovered. Okay, that's it. All right, people. Let's see what we have on Novaria. Novaria is a small frozen terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Novaria Development Corporation, whose lease, who lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be proof. Wow, see, it's the easy words that I get tongue tied on. Preformed elsewhere, performed elsewhere. Given Novaria's unique situation, it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. All right. We need to get our landing party together. Approach control. This is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access. <laughs> that was quick. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. You can take your leave without me. All right. Let's get to the exit. Now, I'm not sure if the story lets us know this or not, but Matriarch Benezia is rumored to be here. I don't know if Shepard should know this at this point or not, but we do have to take Liara. Well, we don't have to, but we are. Um, and I think, do we want Garrus or Caden? I'll go with Garrus. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh, good. We did get Liara some better armor. And uh, Garrus has... I think this is a uh, level 10 armor that he's wearing. This looks just like the port, almost like the port on Pharos. I think they added this little dock area here. This wasn't on Pharos. Changed the crate configuration a bit. Uh oh, here's the welcoming committee. And they're dressed in black. That's not very hospitable. That's far enough. I'm on important business. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. 
Show some respect. <laughs> I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. They plan to be trouble, ma'am. I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three... Captain Matsuo, stand down! And what was she going to do with her We confirmed their effect? identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Mm-hmm. Ooh, two renegade points. That's the way to play it. Okay, let's go see Parasini-san. Yeah, but it, it is entirely optional to take Liara. I think you get some additional dialogue if she is with you. But it does not change the outcome of any of the proceedings, whether she's with you or not. Uh-oh. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? Oh, Jesus. She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable <laughs> asset to the company. One of my duties is orientation mm. of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Okay, so that answers my question. Shepard did not know about lady Benezia until this moment so I know what some people do they will go back to the Normandy and you know get Liara if they you know wanted to bring her along at this point now that you know that she's here but you know fortunately or unfortunately for me I can meta game since I've played all three games and I know somewhat of what may happen all right oh she's a dead woman really okay She's a threat to galactic peace. I'm here to bring her in or put her down. Mm. The board doesn't like having outside problems dumped in its lap, Commander. Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. <clears throat> Shepard has gone sweet on Liara. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. All right. Let's continue. I think she's about the only person that, that Shepard might speak kindly to. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety, and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. I can't believe I finally made it to Novaria. Yeah, 
the story is really coming along. Let's go in here and talk to this Hanar. He may have some items of interest. I think Liara can still use some better armor. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Let's look at standard items first. Okay, wow, look at this assault rifle. Ooh, we've got some licenses here too. All right, look at this, uh, Titan Four. That's not, no. All right, we'll get this, uh, Materials license and the Metagel upgrade. All right, let me also. This one offers greetings. Look you are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Let's look at upgrades. Hmm, combat exoskeleton, inferno rounds, uh, we're not going to buy those, they drop too easily. I wish there was a way this one to not offers have to back out completely. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. Just this to get to store, these other right? options. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Alright, the non-human armors, you have anything? Crow, ooh, look at the Warlord Axe. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, oh, and the Titan, is that even stronger? It's medium armor now, because um, Rex can wear heavy. But it gives him no tech or biotic protection. All right, this is good. We'll just, because I'm sure this is expensive. Yeah, six hundred thousand credits. All right, let's go, people. All right, we're gonna head into Administer Analeas office and see what he has to say. Something else I need to do. Yeah, level up. It's amazing how I've spec to Liara. We'll give her advanced stasis. Um, I need to give her some warp. Okay. Oh, okay, we're at level 54. I thought we were at 55. I don't know why. Okay, um, I'm going to start giving him points in Sniper Rifle. Alright, and Shepard is good. Let's just do a save. Yeah, but our accelerated experience technique is working with the uh, Mako. So that we only have to play through one time to get to level 60. All right, Parasini san. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix? They work in genetics? 
BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. Uh -oh. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. Okay. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. All right, let's go and talk to... Is it Administrator Analeas? Administrator? You will excuse me if I don't stand up. Oh. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. Wow. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our <clears throat> regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Hmm. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we have no more questions. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Hmm, and we got no experience. Is this a, uh... No, nothing here. No experience by wasting our time talking to him. Okay. Let's head back Mr. out. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Oh, really? Talk. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. I can bludgeon pretty hard. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? <laughs> Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchen. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. Yeah, after after she told him to keep it quiet and not say anything, he's gonna... Laura Keen, tell me about Laura Keen. Okay, well here we are, finally! On Novaria! And we're going to end the recording here and continue with our adventures as we move toward the conclusion of Mass Effect. But we're not there yet. This is Hill, and I'm out.